changed my mind. The FX6 is the best camera ever. Today we're going to be jumping into Premiere and showing you how to create this little object masking transition that you can use to transition two clips to and from each other. It's pretty dope. But this video would not be possible without my friends over at Envato Elements. If you want 50% off an annual subscription, click the link below. Let's uh, jump into it. We are in Premiere. And uh, that intro was pretty basic. We have a couple little effects going on. We have some audio tracks as well. I got some glitch sounds right here. And these glitch sounds are in my ultimate effects pack. So if you want to pick that up, it'll be linked down below. Quick note, I give away one free version of the ultimate effects pack linked below on every tutorial. Just click the giveaway link and you can enter for this week's giveaway. Now the winner of last week's video was Jesus Gonzalez. Congrats, my dude from Spain. I'll send the pack your way. How do you do this? Well, first you wanna find out where you wanna transition. So I'm gonna just pick a point, I think that looks good. And then right where you find that point, all you have to do is go up here and hit the export frame or hit Control Shift E. If you don't see that, click the plus sign and drag on the little camera icon down here anywhere. And then you will have that to be able to select it. So all you do is click that little photo icon right there and select import into project. And then when you do that, it'll pop up over here in your project window. And all you have to do is drag that into your timeline right where you created that point. And now I typically just drag the back half of it or drag it down. It doesn't really matter. This is what we're going to be editing. And this right here is technically our transition point. So we're transitioning into that clip right there. All you have to do is right click on that photo that we just grabbed and go to edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now this is where the magic happens. Click this little lock icon to unlock that layer. Hold Alt and drag that up to copy that layer. And then we're just gonna unhide that bottom layer. Cause I don't like doing destructive editing. You shouldn't either, where I mean you just destroy one layer cause if you wanna get back to it, you can't. So all I have to do is select that top layer and go over here to the left hand side and you'll see something called a object selection tool. If you see the quick selection tool, all I have to do is long press and go to object selection tool. Now when you hover over here, you'll see that if you hover over this guy, he's blue. So I'm just going to click that blue area and you'll notice that it selected him pretty well. Now you can adjust this by clicking and dragging the areas that you want to add in, but I typically find that I don't need to. And you can play around with these things up here, which is new selection, add to selection or subtract from selection. But what I do is I click the mask button down here because I work really fast. And then I go click on my mask layer and I hit B, which is the brush tool. Whenever this is on white, it will actually paint in the image. Whenever you reverse it and it's on black, it'll delete the image. Or you press X, that will also reverse those colors so then you can paint in what you want. But most of the time, object selection tool will do a pretty good job at getting what we want. Now all I have to do is go to File, Export, Export as PNG and save this as Image 1 or whatever you want. Go to your folder and drag in that image that you just created. So now that we have that, we can just drag it over here. And if you look, we have this image that is overlaying our next transitional point. So playing this back, it looks like this. Obviously it's not that cool, whatever, you know? But what we can do is we can actually stutter this up. So I like to zoom in a little bit and I'm actually going to go back a couple frames. I'm gonna start adding some manipulation right here. So I'm just gonna hit C on the keyboard. I'm probably gonna cut a frame, cut a frame, cut a frame and I'm gonna move that back half and I'm just gonna move these all over the place. What I'm gonna do is click on each one of these individual layers and move them around. Also, have you guys experienced this Premiere bug where if I'm on this layer, it doesn't actually show the video that's right there under video two. It just shows it when I go to the next frame, which shouldn't be the case. So I think this is a bug. If it's happening to you, let me know. But all I'm gonna do is go around here and move this all over the place, let's say to just pretty much to the left. And then I'm gonna go to this one and move it to the left again, just like that. Maybe scale it up a little bit, just like that. So now if I play this back on this transition point right here, you'll see that it looks like this. So it's like a little stutter going on and I can actually continue this stutter. I can just hold, highlight all these and hold Alt and drag those to the right. And we have like a little stutter that's going into our next clip. 
that's how you create that transitional point. And this is like a flicker thing, but you can also just kind of leave it stagnant and make it fade away. But this is nice because then we can drag in any of our image layers and you can start to create some like offset stuff where you are just using your image and you're keyframing it a couple frames, offsetting it, you know, just playing around with it until you get something that's very unique. And then when you do that, you can highlight all those, right click, temporal interpolation, hold. Wow, I butchered that one. And just chop that up. So then when you like play it back, it's like a, a little stutter flicker going on and you can add sound effects like the ones in my ultimate effects pack. And speaking of sound effects and transitions, let's talk about today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements has millions of creative assets that you can use for your videos, such as stock video, video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates, and so much more. For example, if I want to type in hype video, I will see all of these cool creative videos that I can basically drag and drop my video clip into, and I will create an epic hype, which is pretty awesome. And you can get all of these downloads too. All you have to do is click the link in the description down below for 50% off an annual subscription. They have a simple license and it will even count when your subscription ends. And when collecting more assets for your videos, I would highly recommend checking out Envato Elements. Let's keep moving on. So we have this clip right here and I wanna transition into this clip right here. So I'm gonna take this point right here and put it up here on the top because that looks like a dash right there. So I'm actually gonna drag this up over that video um, as when I wanna start it and I'm gonna click and drag these up as well because I kind of want this to start right away. Like I want this to be on that clip right there. So I'm just gonna go to the beginning where I have a still frame right here, click the camera icon and I've already deleted it, move that down here, click that button and import into project. Now it imported right there, all you have to do is click that and drag that down anywhere in my timeline because I really don't need to um, have it in a specific spot right now. Click edit in Photoshop, uncheck that, lock sign, duplicate that layer by holding alt and dragging up and select this object selection tool. I'm just gonna go in here and uh, see what it selects. Obviously it doesn't select everything, so maybe I'll just click his face and drag around here. I think that looks good and we'll see what that does. Obviously that was pretty terrible, so I'm gonna click the add and click dragging around. Cool, and maybe right here. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna click this little mask button, unhide that bottom layer, and it's pretty rough. So I'm just gonna click B, select on the mask, and this brings up my brush tool. And I'm going to reverse these layers so white is on, because white will actually paint your mask back in. And go around here, and we'll just make a little soft edge. That looks good. And then we're gonna go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. We're gonna name this Image 2. Now go back to Premiere. Go to your folder, find image two, drag it into your project window, drag on image two anywhere in the timeline. So now we have that image to manipulate. So what I can do is actually play around with this and uh, start to manipulate that image on this thing right here. So I'm just gonna move it up to the top and I'm really just gonna kind of flicker it because I don't really want it to go crazy right away. But the fun thing is you can overlay as many of these things as you want. So when you play them back, they're like happening all at once, which is kind of cool. So I'm just gonna stutter that on and then I'm gonna hide it because when I wanna transition into it, I am going to make it do one of these little fun things where it zooms or it uh, transforms down into the actual image that I'm trying to transition into. So to do that, go to the effects, go over to transform drag on that transform effect. There's two of them. It doesn't really matter. One's uniform scale, one's not. And keyframe the position, but I'm gonna reset that and drag that one all the way to the end since I know that that's the original position and they'll transition nicely. And then I'm gonna go to the, somewhere in the beginning and just drag this up to the top right there. And uh, maybe, actually maybe really like right there because it was flickering in already. Right click on the first one, temporal inter interpolation, ease out. Drag the next one back, temporal interpolation, ease in. Click this little down arrow, drag this to the right. We'll drag this one a little bit to the right and drag them both all the way to the beginning and end. So now if we play this back, you should see something where 
if my Premiere would stop bugging out. It looks like this, and it's kind of like a little stutter going on. Kind of cool, kind of cheesy, but you can kind of see how you can start to play with transitioning your clips, which is really cool. Also on this transform, you're going to want to go down here to uncheck use composition shutter angle, change it to like anywhere from zero to 360. The higher the number, the more motion blur you're going to have. And that motion blur is really nice because it actually helps sell the transition. Now keep in mind on all these effects and stuff, you can click on them and change the overlay mode or the blend mode to get different looks and really change the overall outcome of your transition, which is kind of cool because then you'll start to get like more glitchy stuff. And then when you add sound effects, it just truly makes the transition pop. Yeah, so that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comments below. Click that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. And I'm going to be on a work trip pretty much until Christmas, but I'm going to post some tutorials from a hotel room. So uh, this setup gonna be no more but uh you guys know what to do i'll see you next time